Absolutely. Let's jam in another. Uh, Sean in Australia just hung up. A lot of calls from Australians. Nick in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, can I have a minute? Yes, go um, ahead. Jerry Farr, we call Jerry. I, I get in on you on the 911. Jerry Farwell came in on 911 also because he said the, he was blaming the gays. And, I, I, and they were so, the hijackers were so ugly, um, they you know, got in through that. Our tolerance for that's that's what okay, how I there we go. Uh, well, they did. They did circle the White House before they hit the Pentagon. So um, you, now it's White Ikeda. Um, uh -huh. well, Bob, he's, Bob blames the banks. Uh, he says, I, and I agree because the, the banks are doing things like in, in Fresno they let methyl iodine in a secret meeting, and, that, and that's killing the children. And if it's secretly fed by the banks, that's that, that's the mentality that they're that these people are are matching with. And, and, I hear you. I hear you, Nick. Very interesting points. We got to go to break. I want to take a bunch of calls. I want to move quick. We're going to go to Randy, Andrew, Tim, and others. The toll free number to join us: 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. We're not screening your calls, but we're specifically trying to talk about the stage terror attacks. Are they staged? The, the, the bombings, the shootings, the white Al-Qaeda, the, the economy, all of this stuff coming up. I'll also get into Bob uh, giving us his take on our energy system being shut down, so we're having more and more rolling blackouts. That's admitted. It's all coming up. Stay with us. Bob Chapman's our guest right now, going through your calls, and we're going to get into a whole plethora of news with him before he leaves us on gold, the economy. I want to get his take on a host of issues. But Randy in Illinois, you are on the air with Bob Chapman. Welcome. Hi, Bob. Hi, Alex. Um, I just wanted to point out on the uh, DHS video, um, there's something that I found that's rather cryptic, it looks like. Um, at six minutes, five seconds, uh, the black security guard hat and glasses and mustache who's watching um who's observing uh people breaking into a shed uh behind him on the wall um on the wall of a truck trailer or something it looks like there's a pyramid shaped eye drawn on it yeah saying we're the all-seeing eye we're watching you're talking about the 10-minute dhs video uh whitey's gonna get you he's the new al-qaeda Right. Yeah. And I just wanted to point that out. But six minutes, six seconds. We'll uh, we'll look into that. What's your take on the Oslo situation? Well, I think it's very disturbing. Um, you know, I'd certainly like to see what uh, eventually transpires concerning that, but I don't really have an opinion. Um, I mean, I'm listening to you guys now, so, you know, it's just very disturbing. Thank you so much. Uh, Bob, comment on that. No, uh, I think uh, you've got to look into the all-seeing eye. And, yes, it's disturbing. I, I'm looking at reports coming in from the Washington Post right now. And uh, I'm trying to do three different things at once. Uh, but it's really disturbing. And... Uh, uh, the gentleman summated it all. We have to try to, as time goes on here, find out really what's behind it. Absolutely. And the globalists love to put their little gang signs all over everything. I'm going to check that during the next break. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Andrew in Canada. You're on the air, Andrew. Welcome. Hello, Mr. Jones. Uh, my question is simply, uh, Al-Qaeda has been, their original concept was to uh, get occupation out of their homeland. I'm curious how Norway has basically over the years been in any way trying to occupy or diminish any other country. Uh, my father just returned from Norway visiting his best friend, and the pi picture he did depicted was they barely have enough money to occupy their backyard. So how Well, no, it it's because they haven't been for the occupation that now al Ada is going to strike them to teach them that they need to be part of these wars. That's what PNAC wrote. That's what Dick Cheney wrote in 2000. He said we need giant Pearl Harbor events that kill 3,000 people. Pearl Harbor killed 3,000 to help launch these new wars and get rid of people's liberties and freedoms. Uh, Bob Chapman. Absolutely, and that's what it's all about. 
and they try to herd people in the right direction, uh, half the time they're not successful, half the time they are. That's it. And it's the exposure that comes right after it, like you're covering right now, that's going to bring in a lot of intel from people who normally would not be subject to bring. That's a good point. We know about the underwear bombing because we woke up the Haskells to false flag. We have now people in the, on the ground in Norway, a guy almost killed by the bomb, giving us intel. Because they're aware now to not just believe the first story. They understand key bono, who benefits, who stands to gain. Thank you, Andrew. Tim in Michigan, you're on the air with Bob Chapman. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, how you doing, man? Good. Yeah, it's been a long time. Um, uh, I just uh, got a little, a few little uh, quick updates, and then uh, I do have a, a definite uh, something I'd like to speak about. Right, we got uh, about a minute and a half. Go uh, ahead. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, well, first off, I want to get you your, your opinion and Bob's opinion on a theory I have about the birth certificate thing. I know it's, it's kind of been in the background. That's fine. Give us your question. Okay. This is what I'd like to know. I have my personal birth certificate sitting in front of me. There are three different safety devices to prove whether a birth certificate is fake or not fake. One of them is an imprinted actual stamp into the paper. Yeah, there's no stamp on the one he had, and it, it appears to be a composite. I, I, is that your question? No, it, it, if, if you cannot reproduce a scan to have texture. I mean, that's obvious. It also has watermarks that you can see through the paper. It also has these disappearing ink stamps of the Michigan symbol on the back. Um, as far as I know, none of this stuff was ever brought out. Now, my theory... Yeah, no, no, we've, we've brought it out, sir. We've made videos about it, watched millions of times. Uh, what's your theory? Okay, but my, here's my theory. Here's my theory. Okay. That the, the Illuminati misjudged the longevity of Obama's staying power, and I think, personally, they might have even threatened him and said, Barry, you better take and... and, and all right, and, all right, all right. We got to get to more callers now. Doing an hour of overdrive right now at PrisonPlanet.tv and Infowars.com. I'll be back for the full broadcast um, Sunday edition, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Bob Chapman is our guest. If you want to get a free copy, either hard copy or email copy of his powerful newsletter, a new one comes out tomorrow, you can simply call Midas Resources and they will uh, put you in the hopper to get it. And it's 800-686-2237, 800-686-2237. Ted also has a deal where you can get two silver dollars. That's an $80 value in the market or more. I challenge you to get two silver dollars for 80 bucks with silver above $40 an ounce. And you get a documentary film that is animated called American Dream, which is incredibly well done about the bankers and how to stop them. It's only 35 minutes long, so great to wake up uh, novices out there. And the book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True by Mark Dice, a book and a DVD free with free shipping. Free shipping, free book, free film. That's 19, 30. That's $40 off. So you pay for the cost of the coins and you get $40 of free stuff. It's a loss leader. Give uh, Midas Resources a call. And tell them it's the Alex Jones special. We'll take advantage of that. That's key, or it will cost a little bit more. Still very competitive. 800-686-2237, 800-686-2237. And while you're at it, ask them about the other radio specials and other silver and gold coins to get prices when Ted bought this gold and silver months ago. He is about to run out of the stuff he bought during that dip, and the prices will go up. They'll still be very competitive. 800-686-2237. You know, that caller was getting into theories of what... uh, the Illuminati might be doing with Obama. I don't really get into a lot of theories. If I see a pattern that they're saying, white Al-Qaeda is about to hit you when they hit, what do we do? We spy on everybody. Everybody's Al-Qaeda. You know, and the point is, is they introduce it first, it's the Muslims, and it's everybody. That's how tyrants work. You know, I use the Hitler example a lot. First, he went after unpopular minority groups, set the precedence, and then it was a free-for-all going after everybody. Bob Chapman, do you have any uh, comments on that or the uh, birth certificate issue before we go back to calls? No, I I don't. Let's talk to Dangerous in California, then Jay, Ed, Jr., and Chris, then we're getting into news. Dangerous, you're on the air. 
Hi, Alex. Hi, Bob. How are you? How are you doing? Thank you for taking my call. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to talk. I wanted to t- to bring up something I don't think has been mentioned on the program before, and it's perfect for Bob here. Um, it has to do with the central banking system and potentially one of the biggest threats to it. And um, it's called bitcoins, and I was wondering if you were familiar with it. It's um, a peer-to-peer uh, encrypted uh, digital currency that's um, inflation-proof and counterfeit-proof and uh, control-proof. But if it's inflation-proof, uh, it's got to be then denominated into currencies. Um, uh, sorry, Bob, go ahead. Um, uh, well, how is it denominated to answer Alex's question? Uh, well, a certain amount of them are mined over a period of time through the computer network, and um, they're the uh, the single. Um, how do you buy the them to begin with? How, how do you monetize them? Uh, there's a couple of exchanges currently. They're currently they were six cents each only a few months ago. Now they're trading at over fifteen. About but 15, see, then they're then they're not inflation proof. Them. They're already inflating. The, 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 they're based on currencies. But there's only a certain amount of them that can ever be mined, and in a certain period of time, that that, that number will be mined, and it won't be for a long time. Um, only uh, there's a uh, it's a lot of people are picking up on this. It's becoming um, extremely popular, and a lot of people that are looking at it are uh, are saying, "Wow, this is really amazing. This actually could be one of the biggest potential threats to the central banking system." Uh, hey, yeah, I've seen a lot of new alternative digital currencies out there. A lot of them actually put out by the establishment. I'm not saying that's what this is. I've heard the term before. Uh, how do you spell it? Bitcoin. B i t c o i n, like a, a I got digital it. bit. And you can find out a lot more about it at uh, forum.bitcoin.org. And that's where most of the information and uh, the people are discussing it. Um, there's been a lot of anti-Bitcoin propaganda in the news lately. But as well, there's been some positive uh, information that's been put out as well. So I wanted to bring it to people's attention because uh, it's, uh, it's definitely a good alternative and something that people should look into. And I was wondering if you guys were familiar with it or not. I'm familiar with digital, new digital competing private currencies. I know they're even going after gold and things now that are original. <laughs> hey, Bob, what do you think of Bernanke saying uh, gold is not money? That was pretty funny, wasn't it? Well, he had no other choice because if he said gold was money, then he would have to explain what the dollar was, and that's a fiat currency produced by the Federal Reserve. So he was between the, heart, uh, the rock and the hard place, so he had the lie. Yeah. Well, I, l listen, we'll look into the Bitcoin thing. I've heard of it before. I'm looking at Bitcoin.org right now. We'll research it uh, more, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, who's up next here, John? Jay in Missouri are on the air with Bob Chapman. Go ahead. Hey, Bob. Hey, Alex. How you guys doing today? Good. Um, yeah, first off, i got to tell you, you, got, you are the news, Alex. I mean, you had a, an eyewitness from Oslo within, you know, 12, six hours on the ground, I mean, multi-million dollar operations out there can't compete with you. It's amazing. Well, it's because uh, we got a great crew and great sure. listeners everywhere, so thank you. Most definitely. Uh, just to, just an aside, personally, I, you, it was weird. I, I had a hack into my, my, uh, my personal debit card over the last two days, and the only transaction was from Oslo, Norway, um, which was which was very odd to me. Um just, just a crazy, crazy coincidence, and and you know I'm I'm online at the you know Alex Jones Infowars com and all, all the sites, and um, I don't know I have to look into it a bit more, but uh, uh, yeah, that kind of freaked my bones out when when it hit me with a terrorist attack in Oslo. Um, but I had a question for you and Bob concerning the debt ceiling at home. Um, I haven't heard much coverage. Ron Paul did an interview, I believe, last week on Fox where he basically stated that. The Federal Reserve could technically write off the $1.6 trillion in U.S. Treasuries that they've purchased um, since it's kind of the revolving door circle of, circle of corruption, and we wouldn't have to raise the debt ceiling at all, and we you know, wouldn't have to raise taxes. But then they've bought them, the private banks have bought them, they wouldn't get that interest, correct, Bob Chapman?